morning in today's class we will discuss frequency transformation in analog and digital domains okay generally the need of transformation of frequency in different domains is if you want to transform a low pass filter to another low pass filter characteristics which is another having some different cut off frequency suppose first one is having some cut off frequency fc1 and if you want to increase that cut off frequency to fc2 which is greater than fc1 otherwise decrease the cut off frequency from fc1 to below that so for the and also if you want to convert from uh, low pass filter to high pass filter a band pass filter or band reject filter so to convert from one filter to another filter characteristics we need this uh, frequency transformation in the analog domain as well as frequency transformation in the digital domain is also there that also we will see that okay now first we will see the frequency transformation in analog domain okay in the frequency transformation analog domain in analog domain so we will see different uh, characteristics first one is low pass to low pass transformation generally we may have some doubt uh, why we have to suppose if low pass filter is there what is the necessity of having uh, transforming to another low pass filter that's just now i told you if you have uh, some cut off frequency fc if you want to increase that cut off frequency so we have to transform low pass filter to low pass filter suppose i have a low pass filter which is having a cut off frequency of some 10 kilohertz i want to transform that 10 kilohertz cut off frequency low pass filter to 15 kilohertz low pass filter cut off frequency low pass filter then i have to transform uh, low pass filter to low pass filter only my filter specifications are not changing only cut off frequency is changing in that case i have to transform low pass to low pass here these characteristics already we know that the only important thing is if you want to transform low pass to low pass wherever s is there in the transfer function h of s just to substitute s by omega c where omega c is the cut off frequency okay and this is a normalized plot normalized low pass filter characteristics we know that this is the magnitude response maximum of the magnitude response is 1 and this is 1 by under root 1 plus epsilon square where epsilon is the pass band uh, parameter and lambda is the stop band parameter which specifies the stop band attenuation uh, and it directly it is not stop band attenuation it, it is the parameter so used to represent the stop band uh, attenuation and pass band attenuation correspondingly so we have a normalized value one year here omega s by omega p that is omega r omega is the stop band edge frequency omega p is the pass band edge frequency and if you take the ratio then you will get the omega r okay so if this is the original filter characteristics i want to transform it to low pass filter another low pass filter characteristics just to substitute s is equal to s by omega c in and here so one by under root one plus epsilon square same thing only difference is omega c omega r okay omega c omega r okay cut off frequency that cut off frequency we take here at omega c that is wherever this one by under root of one plus epsilon square such as this plot so just draw a vertical line and you take the cut off frequency value omega c now here previously this is uh, maybe cut off frequency now it was modified so cut off frequency so the relation is wherever s is there you substitute s by omega c then you will get the normal uh, transformed frequency characteristics in low pass filter now coming to the second one low pass filter to high pass filter transformation so the given filter is low pass filter you see we have the maximum magnitude from 0 to so this particular frequency and you have a so it is a stop band okay stop band now so wherever s is there you substitute just inverse of this so omega c by s Yes, uh, in the place of s, you substitute omega c by s. Then you will get the high pass filter characteristics. So these parameters will not change. Your, so this one, one, one by under root epsilon square, one by under root one plus lambda square, they will not change. Only the thing is, so up to from here to here, this stop stop band, and this is the 
cut off frequency above which all frequencies are passed through so that is the low pass filter and this is high pass filter characteristic this is high pass filter okay high pass high pass filter characteristics high pass filter characteristics so where the cut off frequency is this one above all these frequencies are transmitted below this there is a uh, no transmission takes place attenuation is maximum from here to here okay so like that so here also so this is next one uh, low pass to band pass filter characteristics low pass to band pass means see here low pass i need not explain again and again so it is a low pass filter one and this is a omega okay so now here also you see low pass filter that is a normalized low pass filter so if you want to change from low pass filter to high pass filter we substitute this one s in the place of s s square plus omega l into omega u omega l is the lower frequency and omega is the upper frequency so s is the this is a complex operator variable so now uh, you see what that 1.0 1.0 1 epsilon square 1.0 1 plus lambda square so just uh, you take that and you plot we extend this line two lines 1.0 1 plus lambda square 1 by 0, 1 by 0, 1 plus epsilon square then wherever it cuts in, these lines cuts the this plot then it gives you so omega l and omega u so this is the lower cut off frequency upper cut off frequency and this is the omega 1 and omega 2 okay so this omega 1 and omega 2 are corresponds to the stop band whereas omega l and omega u are corresponds to the pass band parameters because see this 1 by 0 1 plus lambda square is related to this one you see it is cutting here so therefore omega 1 and if you extend that line that is also cutting here this is omega 2 so this this uh, magnitude represents it is a stop band magnitude and this is the here it is pass band magnitude um, this is the one maximum magnitude of the pass band so therefore the idea is simple if you have a low pass filter characteristics if you want to convert it into high pass filter characteristics you substitute s by this equation s square plus omega l into omega u divided by s minus omega u minus omega l and so this omega r how to calculate this omega r minimum of magnitude of a and magnitude of b so what is magnitude a what is a value a is so this equation so minus omega square plus omega l into omega u divided by omega u one, uh, into one like omega u omega 1 into omega u minus omega l so same thing here minus omega so in place of omega 1 we have a omega 2 and plus minus and denominator also same right omega 2 in the place of omega 1 we have a omega 2 omega u minus omega u so these are a and b values and that our resonant frequency how to find out the how to find how to find out omega r omega r that is the minimum value of this magnitude of a and magnitude of b you calculate the magnitude of a and magnitude of b so then you will get this omega r okay the next characteristics are pass band uh, low pass uh, filter to band band stop filter characteristics this is the fourth one okay you look at this figure see here the low pass filter characteristics are same from 0 to 1 we have a pass band after that it slowly goes to the transition and finally it is a stop band and so band reject filter means what a band of frequencies unwanted frequencies are rejected or eliminated in the output so to de design that so we have to follow this one right s is equal to in the place of s see actually we will given h of s analog filter transfer function if you want to transform this analog filter transform Analog, low pass analog filter to band stop analog filter transfer function wherever s is there you substitute s into omega u minus omega l divided by s square omega l into omega s square plus omega l into omega u where omega u is the upper cut of frequency omega l is the lower cut of frequency and now uh, see omega r so this omega r is minimum of magnitude a and magnitude b so out of these two if we calculate the magnitude of a and b which one is minimum that is selected as that minimum value is selected as omega r so now what is this a and b means these are the a and b values 
तो ओमेगा यू माइनस ओमेगा दैट इज कॉमन ओमेगा यू इन ओमेगा माइनस ओमेगा तो टेक द मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ दैट सो ओमेगा यू ओमेगा यू ओमेगा माइनस ओमेगा 1 स्क्वायर दिस इज अ बी इज अ माइनस ओमेगा 2 स्क्वायर तो ओमेगा वन ओमेगा सो व्हाट एवर इज देयर हियर जस्ट टू रिमेंबर आई एम टेलिंग ऑल दीस थिंग्स टू रिमेंबर ए एंड बी वैल्यूज ओमेगा वन इनटू ओमेगा माइनस ओमेगा यू माइनस ओमेगा एल डिवाइडेड बाय सो ओमेगा वन स्क्वायर एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू लोअर एंड अपर सो हियर ओमेगा टू बिकॉज दिस बी ओमेगा टू यू माइनस एल माइनस ओमेगा टू स्क्वायर एल इनटू यू ठीक है लाइक दैट टू रिमेंबर द ए एंड बी वैल्यूज ओके सो देर फोर दिस इज द ओमेगा वन एंड ओमेगा टू ओमेगा एल एंड ओमेगा यू ओके सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट this omega and omega 2 and b values so omega r values from the given specifications see omega r in the value of a and b can calculate from that you can calculate all these things so like this we have seen four low pass to low pass transformation low pass to high pass transformation low pass to band pass transformation and low pass to band stop transformation okay four transformations are uh, we have seen in the analog domain now we will see frequency transformation in the digital domain okay now digital domain means what we have to operate on h of z we have to operate on h of z whereas in analog uh, transformation frequency transformation in analog domain means h of s h of s will be given so based on that h of s process function in the place of s value we have substituted different parameters s is equal to sigma by sigma omega c by uh, some omega i like that we have seen in the beginning s by omega c omega c by yes so like that in the in the we have to operate on h of s in the analog filter transformation a frequency transformation in analog domain now frequency transformation in the digital domain okay now digital filter transfer function will be available for you and on this digital filter so we have to operate on z inverse now low pass to low pass if you want to transform a low pass filter to digital low pass filter to another digital low pass filter i already have explained what is the need of converting a low pass filter to another low pass filter if you want to change the cut off frequency you have to change the design parameters so that is why when wherever z inverse z inverse is there in h of z we substitute z inverse minus alpha by 1 minus alpha z inverse then where alpha is this function alpha is this function omega p is the pass band frequency of the original low pass filter and omega p dash this omega p dash is there that is the pass band frequency of the new low pass filter new low pass filter means after substituting this z inverse is equal to z inverse minus alpha by 1 minus alpha z inverse whatever the function you get or whatever the uh, pass band and stop band you get those things are called new new values Okay, because we have transformed it from low pass to low pass by substituting z inverse and alpha values. Okay, that is why omega p is the pass band frequency of the low pass filter of the old low pass filter or the base one, reference one. Omega p dash is the pass band frequency of the newly designed filter. Okay, that is low pass to low pass. Okay, same thing, right? Digital low pass filter, whatever we have seen in analog low pass filter, same. Uh, procedure takes place here also, but uh, it is the transfer function is in the digital domain. Okay, that is this one. And uh, low pass to high high pass transformation. So for low pass to high pass transformation, so z inverse plus alpha plus here one plus alpha z inverse. Simply plus is there. Okay, here z inverse means z inverse minus alpha one minus z inverse plus alpha one plus. So for low pass to high pass, you have to remember this minus sign comes z inverse plus. Okay, like that you will get it. And where alpha is, so cos. This is for sign here. Cos same thing. Omega p dash plus omega p divided by omega p dash minus omega p by two. Okay, here sign term is there, cos term and. Minus plus plus minus like that you have to remember. So all these things I am saying to you to remember the things because we are not deriving all these things, so you have to remember it. And in the same way, so all all the values this one, right? So low pass to band pass. Okay, this is somewhat a little bit lengthy, but you can remember it, right? So minus z square minus 
2 alpha k by 1 plus alpha k, uh, k square. So this is a j power minus 2, not square, j power minus 2. Minus 2 alpha k by 1 plus k square, j inverse plus 1 k minus 1 by k plus 1. So this is the second order term. Okay, first order constant. Like that in that in that way you can say. And now you see this k minus 1 by k plus 1, j inverse, this k minus 1 by k plus 1 z inverse minus 2 alpha k by k plus 1 z power minus 1 plus 1 ok so you can remember in this way only the difference is uh, you will not get uh, k square here yeah? where alpha is cos upper cut of frequency lower cut of frequency by 2 divided by cos upper cut of frequency minus lower cut of frequency by 2 ok and k cot omega u minus omega l by 2 tan omega p by 2 omega p is the pass band frequency of the filter ok pass band frequency like this we have to transform and coming to the last one low pass to band stop filter so here z, z power minus 2 minus 2 alpha by 1 plus k z inverse 1 minus k by 1 plus k just you see what is k minus 1 1 minus k divided by 1 minus k by 1 plus k z power minus 2 minus 2 alpha by 1 plus k z inverse plus 1 plus 1 so in this order you can remember see 1 minus k by 1 plus k z power minus 2 minus 2 alpha by 1 plus k z power minus 1 same thing not repeating here also just we have a k square here but k square is not here here so plus 1 where alpha c both the terms so instead of this you will get this so omega l minus omega omega u plus omega l divided by 2 omega u minus omega l divided by 2 alpha this is alpha value and k is so here cot we got here tan so low pass to band stop is tan omega u minus omega l by 2 tan omega p by 2 ok like this we can uh, transform the given uh, filter transfer function into so frequency transformation in the digital domain so if you want to transform a low pass filter to high pass filter in a digital domain we have to use these variables in the place of the inverse generally the transfer functions are like this. digital filter transfer functions are like this h of z is equal to 3 z power minus 2 plus 4 z power minus 1 plus 5 divided by something like this 5 z power minus 2 plus 4 z power minus 1 plus 3 like this so wherever z power minus 1 is there just you substitute that uh, z power minus 1 alpha by 1 minus alpha z inverse for low pass to low pass transformation like that you have to transform the given any given digital uh, filter so to convert from one filter to another filter characteristics Okay, like this, we can transform any given filter, digital filter transfer function to any other filter transfer. Like so, low pass to high pass. If you want to convert low pass to high pass, we can uh, use these formulas to uh, get the result. Okay, in this way, so we can transform any given uh, low pass filter to required filter transfer function. Maybe low pass to high pass, low pass to band pass low pass to low pass even low pass to band stop so like this we can convert from one filter I mean low pass filter to any required other filters okay, in this way we can transform this is also very important topic from exam point of view two or three times it was given for 10, 10 marks so when it is given for 10 marks you have to write it in a broad way we explain the characteristics of low pass filter high pass filter but like that whatever I have drawn you go through that and you write down the formulas then you will get the full marks Thank you.